watercolor pencils versus watercolor pads. If you're wondering which is better for you, in this video I will talk about the comparison between these two. Hello, welcome to Artist Mode On. I made a drawing in the app Procreate, then I printed it. To transfer it to the watercolor paper, I improvised a light box with a lamp and a piece of acrylic I found in my house. These are probably the most known type of watercolors. They come in a variety of sizes and forms. You can get them individually or in sets. These are a combination of pigments and binders. The paint dissolves when you add water. It is very easy to start using them. You just have to activate them with water, then mix the colors, apply it to the paper, wait a few minutes till it dries, and then just keep adding more layers. At first they may be messy because it can be hard to have control, but with practice you can be a master of watercolors. If you choose the right brush for each thing, you can use this medium for fine details and also to cover large areas. Perhaps the only disadvantage is the waiting time for adding more layers. Other than that, these are great. Now it's the time to talk about watercolor pencils. I could define them as watercolors in a pencil format, even if this is not exactly true. To start, just use them like regular color pencils and then, and then activate the paint with a touch of water. The colors will instantly look brighter. One thing to keep in mind is that these are not great for adding too many layers, so blend all the colors in the paper before adding water just like you would with regular color pencils. Thanks for watching. 